So if you're watching this, you're going to become vegan. What does it actually mean to be vegan? A lot of things going around. People really don't understand what being vegan actually is. Uh, a lot of people think it's a diet. Uh, it's not a diet at all. Frankly, it's the default of which we all start. It's a blank slate. Actually, we're born to be vegan. We're born not to abuse animals, and that's what it comes down to. And I think Ava put it perfect with a response to, uh, to John here. It's basically people against the abuse of all animals. That's it. And so if you're against the abuse of animals, you're vegan. Simple as that. It's not a diet. It's all about the animals. And once you understand that, um, you know, things get a lot easier. So if you're against the abuse of animals, you're vegan. Everybody's vegan. Most people just don't act on it. And so they consume animals, which you contribute to the abuse of animals. So therefore, you cannot be vegan if you eat animals at all uh, or any animal products because eggs, meat, dairy, cheese, everything, every single one of those things requires the abuse of animals, pig, chicken, cow, everything. Why wouldn't you be against that? In a sense, we're taught or, you know, blindly taught. And then, uh, you know, once you kind of figure it out, you're like, well, you know, in too deep or, you know, everyone else is doing it, which still doesn't make sense or it still doesn't make it right. And so why don't we get that out of our head? What are we doing? Why, when we don't actually have to kill an animal, it's unnecessary. You don't need to. You absolutely do not need to. It's needless. It's proven. It's actually better. It's healthier to eat plants. Why would you, why would you want to commit to an atrocity that is happening to these animals, to these actual beings? So many people do not understand that. And so being vegan is not weird. It's not a cult. It's just not necessary to abuse and torture and slaughter animals unnecessarily for food or clothing, you know, tests, things like that. There's no reason. So, you know, the default is against that. You have to think about it. You have to acknowledge it. And so when you acknowledge it, you have a couple different ways to handle it. You can kind of just say, nope, not going to listen to it. Don't even want to hear it. And that's kind of like your brain and yourself protecting yourself from this uncomfortable feeling, this, this thing that does not make sense to abuse animals, to contribute to abuse animals. It tastes good, it's convenient. It just really doesn't make sense to continue to abuse and torture animals, straight up. Being vegan is only and all about the animals. It's not about diet, it's not about environment, it's not about you know health, it's only and specifically all around about the animals. You are against the abuse of animals. So it's literally the default. Baby human is born, they are literally vegan. They are born against the abuse and torture and slaughter and they don't wanna kill animals. They're taught over time by society, their parents, the people around them, schools, governments, like things, uh, information out there that's, that's basically teaching people to be okay or to normalize to kill and abuse and torture these animals unnecessarily for our what taste for our, some food that we don't need to i think also you know being vegan is actually understanding what is going into our body like you actually think about it and i think when you actually think about it you realize like whoa what am I doing? You haven't really connected food and animals together. And I think most people that aren't vegan obviously have not connected these, these two things. You know, food is like seen as this, you know, this, this thing, like call it deli meat, right? When you see a sandwich or deli meat, you don't see or connect the animal to that sandwich. And that's the problem. And I think the more that you can do that, 
if you sit there and look at like a sandwich and you see an animal and you see all the death and blood and terror and just unnecessary uh, torture and uh, pain that we're causing just to eat that thing, pretty simple in my opinion. You know, like even a bacon, like seeing a piece of bacon and all these comments people make about bacon and, you know, how bacon is life and all of these things. Like, I wish those people would actually watch some of the footage that uh, the pigs go through. It's unbelievable that people actually do that and we contribute to it and we actually make it possible for that to happen. If you don't think that you're, you know, by buying that, you're contributing to these things, it's not correct. Purposefully putting that away from your mind so that we can continue to do this. And this is what the brain does. You know, the brain is fascinating and, and what our, our mind does to, to block out pain and, and this uncomfortable feeling that we have is incredible. And it's your body's defense mechanism to kind of block this information out. So it's not, it's not pleasant or comfortable to think about or watch or, you know, really understand. But once you do, it makes the choice super easy. I mean, like, you know, if you can pick, hey, you can contribute to this or that. I don't know. I mean, if you watch the footage of animal slaughtering and compare it to footage of picking berries, carrots, onions, or slicing onions versus sticking a knife in a pig's throat, you tell me. So if you're watching this, you're going to become vegan. It, there's going to be a time in your life from now until, you know, the point of when this happens, like you're going to be going through your journey. Everyone is. And you're going to, there's going to be a, you're going to connect and, and, and get it and like understand there are so many reasons, but you just need one. You just need one basic, basic one. It's basically, we are basically against the abuse uh, and torture, enslavement and rape and slaughter of these innocent beautiful beings these animals that have done nothing absolutely nothing wrong except born a different species that's it but they can feel they can hear they can see they can touch uh, they all have emotions they all feel they all they have families they they want and and they want they have a will to survive so being vegan is helping these these animals not contributing to their slaughter, not contributing to continuing to allow this to happen. But yet we do it, you know, every day in our vending machines, in our fast foods, we go order foods, we get pizza delivered. Like we, we contribute to this, like it's a product. And I think being vegan is seeing animals not as products because they're not like we've made them and who gave us that right? Nobody. So um, being vegan actually means against the abuse of animals. So if you are not vegan, you, you may say that you're against the abuse of animals, but you don't act or you don't live by that, right? You may say it and you may, you know, it may feel good to tell yourself that you're against the abuse of animals, yet you go have ham sandwich, chicken wings, cheeseburgers, you know, these, these things made with true dead animals. Being vegan is, you're not a hypocrite because you, you know, you say that you love animals and you're against animal abuse and yeah, you don't eat animals. You don't buy their dead flesh and tendons and we don't do that. I mean, it's just, it's simple. Uh, and for the pure fact of we don't want, like, why would we want to do that when we can choose something else? Uh, it just, it, it, there's no good reason. So you could say, oh, it's convenient. There's less, less of it. It doesn't taste as good. I mean, even if all these things were true, which they're not, why would you do it? Like, just, um, just can't justify it, right? Truly justify it and feel good about it at least. So once you understand that and by all, you know, it's, it's only going to be better for pretty much every single reason, um, better to eat plants. So being vegan is, is against the animal abuse against all animal abuse pure and simple basically you know you don't just try to be 
you know, not an animal abuser. Like, you just, you don't, or you do. I mean, it's really clear and simple. I mean, if you, if you, if you consciously eat or consume or buy products and eat sandwich meat, chicken wings, like these uh, turkey breasts, um, McRibs, Burger King, fast food, anything like that, you know, Happy Meals, and that's just a whole nother story, but connect Happy Meals with kids and under, you know, we've taught our children that these are, you know, that it's, this is normal, this is okay, like we just, this happens to be happy, you know, to have Happy Meals, like we're just confused, um, but you can't just be it a little bit at a time, you know, I'm going to do a little bit. Or, you know, I was once against uh, animal abuse, but then I'm, I'm going back because it was just too hard. It was too hard. Is it really, really too hard to not contribute to that? Um, you know, like it just it clearly it, it doesn't make a lot of sense when you really think about it. Now, I'm, I'm talking to the people that get uncomfortable seeing this footage and, and seeing what's happening now if you're cool with it all and you're you know like yeah like and you're talking hunting and you're doing you're you're good with it and you 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 truly believe that this is like these animals were were, were put on this earth for this to happen um you know we got nothing you know just keep moving on but if you're at all like if this gets you uncomfortable or thinking differently or being like wow it could be you know, let me let me rethink this, you know, continue to challenge yourself, continue to, to lean into this because this is um, th this is happening every single day, multiple times a day, uh, all day, every day, everywhere. You know, there's not many people that you'll meet that do not eat animals, you know, out of your hundred friends, 200, you know, everybody, you know, there's not a lot of people out there. There is not a lot of people that that have connected animals to food and what we're doing. Truly connected. Truly connected. Um, and and I think that's there's reasons why we we're, we're not. And it's it's extreme. Like we've been taught these things. It's been normalized over the entire life. And over our entire life and in our multiple and multiple lives of generations in our family's history so we've been you know this has been normalized um and uh it, it's time for for like with technology now for if i came across a video like this or you know more footage and and it really got put in front of my face in in different ways right many people see it different differently this is why you got to continue to watch documentaries or um, you know, information and continue to learn about this, not just push it aside and be like, I'm good. Because if you're still eating animals, you're not good. And neither are the animals. And, you know, no, nobody's doing good. If we continue to do this, like nobody, not anything's going to be good. If the majority of us continue to go down this path. And so just trying to awaken, trying to put the information out there because being vegan is super normal. It is like, it's actually like, it feels really good because we're against animal abuse and we actually, you know, live it day to day and we have fun doing it. And, um, you know, it's super easy. It's so good. It's healthy. Feel a lot stronger, have a lot more energy. It's just everything about it is good. So why would you not want to be vegan? So it's, it, it's easy. Just, you know, that's what being vegan is. It actually means you you like you love animals and you actually don't want them to to die and be slaughtered um, at all, you know, and so you see them as beings um, and not, none of us gives us, you know, we don't have the right to do it. So that goes into a whole different, um, you know, topic, but hope this helps sort of sum it up. Being vegan means you are against the abuse of all animals, no matter what. So you don't uh, contribute and you don't kill them unnecessarily 
for food. That's it. You're against it. You do not abuse animals. So, you know, frankly, those people that, you know, are not vegan yet, because, and I say yet, because this is, it's going to happen. Like, everybody is, um, you're going to eventually become vegan. Pen, pen, pen.